Let me get the chop in this fable. We in the building. DB4. Die before me gaming. Salute to the subscribers, man. Hey yo, let me know if you vibing or if you subscribing. Shout me a holler in the comment section. DBMG, what up? All my RTS people, what up? All my RPG people, what up? Oh, we gonna get it together. Let's turn up. Yeah, you already figured the streets out. Yeah, right. It's all about smiles and cries. Get the drink down, man. What the fuck is that? Hey, hold on, Lars. Oh, hold on, hold on. Smiles and cries. Smiles and cries. Smiles and cries, I hear you. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta control your smiles and cries. Because that's all you have. And nobody can take that away from you. <laughs> Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord We are here For yet another Glorious episode Let's get it Oh man, Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2 is so dope Now if you don't already know Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2 Is an open world Kingdom management Strategy Simulator. Now, this game is real dope. There's a lot of real-time strategy elements. There's some action RPG elements. There's an entire political system. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this game. We got the first 10 episodes explaining a lot. In these last few episodes, we've been trying to accomplish some short-term and mid-term goals. In the last episode, we actually accomplished that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get right into a recap, and then we're going to start talking about our long-term goals for the future. Let's get it. It seemed like forever since we last left Britannia, but the truth of the matter was, it's only been a few years. The time we spent in the village where we were raised was just a distant memory now. We fled our homeland, then we ended up in the Southern Empire, where our family was ambushed and tragedy fell upon us. After a few seasons of confusion, we were able to recover what was left of our family and rebuild the Nogard clan. Our younger siblings have been able to continue their studies and my older brother has gotten married since then. I've been raising an army, gathering companions, gaining wealth and visiting some of the finest cities all over Karadia. I've even managed to become tournament champion. This did wonders for the clan's renown. After that, I began raiding one bandit camp after another, looking for information about our parent. My leads went cold, but this country's passion for war was burning hotter than ever. Seemed like a perfect time to become a mercenary. I took up a contract with the Empress herself. I was able to win several victories in the name of the Empire, with hardly a loss to speak of. After one year of service, peace returned to the Southern Empire, and my contract had ended. So, I began taking up the trade of blacksmithing. This allowed me to gain quite the small fortune. I also managed to acquire some of the finest soldiers the Empire has to offer. Now, my sights turn west. It is time to head back home. All right, all right. Pretty dope, pretty dope. That's what I'm talking about. I like those recaps, man. Them recaps is real dope. And we're going to have another episode of Revelous No God coming out too as well. Stay tuned for that. But those recaps is real dope. And as you already know, we're going to be headed home. We did what we had to do in the Empire. We actually built up a very powerful army. Our army is real powerful right now. We basically got max level troops all over the place. All of our army is maxed out. Everybody that we want to be maxed out. We could level up some archers here and there, some infantry. But we want our army to stay like this. And we just leveling up at this moment a few random cavalry we picked up. 
Now, as far as that, we're going to head back home and we're going to pledge allegiance to our home faction. That's Britannia. But before we do that, I noticed something. In the last episode, I noticed that we're no longer got too much cushion on our tournament champion status. So what we're going to do, we're going to head right into here and go compete in this tournament right away. Ah, 29 damage. I'm trying to get better with a pole arm, so we're going to do our pole arm thing for a little minute. Even though we'll probably do way better getting off the horse and, like, damaging people like that. But, you know, we're going to try to hold it down. Yeah, we got a good kill there. Yeah, our dude can actually get these dudes while they're distracted. Perfect. Got him. All right, we did good. We did good distracting there. Now let's try to run this dude through. We got to get good with this pole arm, man. We're heading to a place where we're going to need it. Oh, good block, boy. All right, it's time to switch weapons. We had fun with the pole arm. Don't let him get you. I got your back. Oh, I almost tried to take him head off. I got your back. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, he almost killed my horse there. Oh, they're going uh full. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Yeah. Yeah, you want to duel next? I challenge thee. I challenge thee. Y'all scared, man. They trying to get an easy clap with the spear. What up? You don't want the smoke? Yeah, let's get it. Oh, so I think he accepted my challenge. <laughs> oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold on, Reg Bold. Chill out, Reg Bold. Yo, Reg Bold, man, you be doing a lot, man, in these tournaments, Reg. You be doing a lot, bruh. You doing a lot. Bro. Nah, hold on. I challenge thee. I challenge thee. You don't want to challenge? Uh, I'm going to have to run this dude over. All right, let's get it. My thrust is getting bad and better, too. You're not getting away. Ugh, got his horse. Yeah. I'm, I'm going for your horse, bruh. I don't know if you know, but I'm going for that horse. Thank you. I'm gonna kill that horse, B. Alright, now you wanna now you wanna duel. Alright, man. Alright, now let's get it. Kill your horse anyway. Alright. These horseback matches is cool. Oh, we are not going arrow. Blocks. Get you. Got you. Good. Oh, my bad. My bad, bro. My bad, Ira. There's a lot of good tournament folk in here. I do want to kind of practice my throwing. Oh, blocked it. Good stuff. Oh no, that was that was that was cheesy. That was cheesy. Think I'm gonna let y'all give up? No guard, man. All right, Era, me and you. My sword, is, my my shield is legit. Sorry, Era. No guard. All right, picked up a little bit of cash there, a little bit of a weapon. Now that was good. More importantly, we were able to put some cushion on our tournament stats because somebody was right behind us. And I didn't like that too much, so I wanted to do something about that real quick. And our pole arm skill actually went up. Good. Wow, mounted. Yep, we definitely don't mount it. 
excellent. Now, in the last episode, we actually managed to get quite a bit of funds. We managed to get all the way up to 255000 with just blacksmithing alone. We basically, we did, so we did a lot of battling just to get some raw materials, but we just did blacksmithing alone. And we ended up still having so much raw materials that I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I should just sell all of this stuff to lighten our load. Or if I should just keep it. I think I'm going to keep it because we're going to have to blacksmith again eventually. So we're going to need this stuff. But for now, I think I can give all of these goods to our people. All right. And with that, our 150 men are max level. Now, we do still have these trained infantrymen. But we're leaving them like that just for the range weaponry. We can replace them with better people. But we're going to leave them just like that. And we're going to constantly keep adding recruits. Now, from now on, when we do add to the army, we're going to try to add to the Archer Corps. To make our archers even that much better. Now, let's head home. We did mention in the intro that we're going to be headed home. The faction we're going to be pledging our allegiance to is none other than this faction. And it looks like they're already getting whipped. So let's head straight over there, straight right now, and get it over with. For old time's sake, we're going to buy a bunch of hogs before we leave. Just for old time's sake, we're going to buy all the hogs, all the cheese, all the butter, all the grain from this village. This is our first village we made money off of. So we're going to buy all of their supplies and say farewell. All right. Britannia currently has war with the Western Empire. And they're actually mounting a huge assault. So when we do get west, we got to prepare because it's a two-front war going on. All right, we've just entered the mountains on the outskirts of the war front. Let's check things out. We got some villages being raided right on the edges or the borders. Yep. Got some castles being Sieged at the moment. This this faction isn't doing too good. Let's go see if we can find someone to pledge. Armies of 115 all over the place. A 500 man army over here. Oh, this is gonna be tough. All right, I entered the Lord's Hall, but the Lord isn't here. Batanian heroes. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? I am Rebelis. Then I will find Kaladog. Okay. Big battle going on over here. The king looked like he just won it. Ah, uh, Haggis Kaladog's army. Let's approach the king. Talk to the army leader. Hi, King Kaladog. Greetings, Revelis. I'm glad that you've received my message. Are you interested in my offer? Yes, he did send us an offer to become a vassal. Yes, I am ready to accept your offer. Good, then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear homage to you as lawful High King of the Britannians. The powers of heaven and earth have entrusted to you the guardianship of this sacred land. I shall stand by your side and not forsake you and fight until my life leaves my body. I shall heed your judgment and pay you the tribute that is your due so that this land may have a strong protector. In exchange for your loyalty, I offer you the command of some of my best men and in recognition of your worth, let me present to you with this gift, which I hope will serve you well on the battlefield. Oh, wow. Okay, we got some Britannian heroes. That's exactly what we wanted, honestly.
Let it be known that you are one of their Britannians. You may till our soil and sit in our councils. Who quarrels with you quarrels with all of us. You have done a wise thing, Revelous. Serve me well, and I promise you will rise high. Thank you, my lord. I have great hopes for you, Revelous. I know you should prove yourself worthy of the trust I have placed in you. Very well. He might have a quest for us, too. Okay, I must leave now. Farewell. If no one slits your throat out there, perhaps we shall meet again. That's weird. Because our parents' throat was slit. All right, all right. Now we are back as a vassal. Man, oh man, oh man. And as you can see, we are surrounded by a sea of red on top of this mountain. And there's almost no way out to the west. Complete and utter war. To the east, complete and utter war. And even if we get past it and manage to take this right here, we're definitely going to be at war with the Northern Empire. So we can possibly try to get down here and do some damage, but it's going to be hard enough to just stave off these dudes. Let's see what's going on. Let's check the war efforts right now. They were burning cities. They just lost a major battle here. So that's big. Um... They, they season something over here. The king's probably going to head over there. We're probably going to go over there, too. And we're going to do some cleaning up and try to keep this faction as weak as possible. We're not going to play the... Def you know what? We could possibly play defense and get into this open plains and go to work. Traveling through these mountains is, and battling is going to be rough with our high cavalry units. So, you know, we might play some defense over here to the west and see what's going on. Because I do want some good kills in open field. And they do have a good cavalry that can match us as well. So it's probably better for us to take most of these matches. Because we can deal with the cavalry. But first things first, let's lighten our load as much as possible. We're going to lighten our load as much as possible. And then we're going in. We might even go help the king out a bit. Oh, a 600 man army. Let me get my trading done and get the hell out of here. Oh, there's 900 people in here. He, he's never going to try to cap this castle. He can't, right? I should probably do a castle defense. I want to wait here and see what he does. All right, their biggest army moved out. They're going for that castle for sure. All right, well, we're going to go find some blood over here. And... Um, I don't really want to raid these villages because these are our villages. They, we just don't own them. I'm going to low ground. We're going to go get some money low ground. And now that it's kind of in the name to help the village, our war efforts, we're going to raid these villages as well. Because it has slowed them down some. We got to slow them down somehow. We're not going to do raiding villages a lot. We def But we definitely have to slow them down as far as being able to keep constantly rebuilding armies and keep filling armies. We have to slow them down. And the best way to do that is to lower the prosperity of the villages and things like that. So we're going to focus on doing that for a little while. Oh, man. Our cavalry is going to be almost useless. I might even make my calf dismount. So we can properly have that. These are villagers, so they're going to run directly at us. So we don't have to do much but chill out and let the archers do the work, honestly. And, it, and it's looking like they're going to come right, right in front of these infantry. So we'll see about that. All right, let me go see what's going on. 29 and 20, 20, 32. It's coming this way. Okay. Well, then we'll move up some. Infantry, move! Troop, move! Soldiers! Give them hell! 
gonna charge the calf, but I think I'm gonna put him on me for a minute. I wanna see the terrain. Sniff out the terrain. Follow me! You know what? Actually, calf? No, 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 no. So let's sit here, calf. Move! Calf is good here. This is a good terrain to fight in right here. Troops! Forward! And forward! Yeah, the calf can clean this up. Troop attack! Go ahead, calf. All right, now we can raid. You see what happens? It says when you raid a village, you weaken. So you're supposed to raid villages, basically. And it's a successful raid. And we're going to make the lords not like us. We got a bunch of goods for that. We got a bunch of money. Or, you know, some decent cash. We got some supplies, all the stuff we're going to need to continue the war efforts. Now, let's move on to the next village and actually raid that, too. Oh, the bitter drought. Oh, man. Bitter drought don't like raiding villages. All right, all right, all right. Well, we're not going to. Uh, we can't mess with the bitter drought, man. He's been with us forever. All right, you know what? You know what? We're going to the capital. We're going to see who's who's over there. All right, bitter drought. Bitter drought is going to make us play. We can't play dirty with bitter drought. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. And you're moving kind of slow, my friend. You're moving kind of slow, my friend. Where you going, bro? Where you going? You was trying to get some more troops, huh? Where you going, boy? Oh, you trying to run to the... You trying to run for help. Yours is not a face I know. Oh, I'm sure you don't know us. Surrender or die. All right. Uh, yeah, stuff like this is like the best we're going to get. <laughs> when it comes to, you know, open fields. So, yeah. There's that. Let's set up. Soldiers! Let's set up. I think I'm going to go with single line of archers, maybe. Spread out like about that much and a double line of infantry. I us I usually go triple line, but we're going to start doing double line infantry because they do have some cavalry. So we're going to need a little bit more coverage on our infantry side and make sure our cav is ready to be real, real, real interruptive. And... Yeah, we're ready to rock. Oh, did they give us super on top of the hill? Oh, this is great. This is amazing. Follow Everybody me. on me. You know what? You know what? You know what? They don't got enough calf. Calf charge. Troops! Kill them all! Troops! Move! Footmen! Move! Soldiers! Oh, we about to have fun. Cav, get him. Get him, Cav. Yeah, they Cav thought they were slick. Now, they Cav is tough. Don't mind. Don't, don't, don't. Follow me. Don't sleep on they Cav. 
They Cav is tough, but we just took them out. We just did them dirty. Hit them hard. Come on, Cav. Get out the way. Let them run into our brick wall. All right, Cav, we're going to charge you from this angle now. Attack! Go do your thing, Cav. All right, another good one. He had a bunch of recruits, see? Follow me. Trying to rebuild. Nope, no rebuild for you. Move. And we caught them uphill. This was a terrible map to fight us on. All right, Cav, disperse. Everybody charge. Everyone. Groups. We hit their cavalry with a brick wall. First battle as a vassal. Don't. You're my prisoner now. Oh, we could take some militia, but we can't really carry anybody else. Noble mounts and everything, man. Oh, man, these dudes be having everything on them. All right, one important piece off the board. Yo, we could probably slay this army. Let me see what he got. If he's walking around with a bunch of recruits, I'm going to destroy him. He's moving slow. Oh, man. I'm not, I don't mean to be getting crazy with it, but it depends on what, he, what type of unit comp he has at the moment. Now, I want to be real careful not to release any lords from my custody because that's going to make this war way harder than it has to be. You know, there's some nice open plains over here. We can scout around and see what we can do. We can't raid villages. I don't want to lose a companion. Oh, somebody's recruiting. Yes. Yes, there's people over here recruiting. There's two people here recruiting. I just saw them. Yes, I just saw them. I saw you dudes. You're not going anywhere. Or a Western Empire dude. Let's see if we can catch him coming out of the forest. Yeah, somebody up there. I want to get him too. That's the guy I saw recruiting. Uh, he might make it too. Hold on, wait. How fast are you going? Four, five. We could capture him. Got him. And we get to save a vassal from being captured. Right. We're helping him, so... Yeah, right. We're helping him, so yeah. We got a we're gonna get a weird setup. Uh this is why I hate the mountains, man. Follow Everybody me. follow me. Everybody follow me. Shit. Soldier attack! Cavalry charge. Troop forward! Infantry! That's what we're doing. Once the cavalry gets here, we'll get them behind us. They took that charge fairly well. They they advanced and shield wall. forward! Line up right here, Cav. Get another clean charge. Or right here, even. Alright, Cav, you can start charging again.
They charge the shield wall into a loose formation. Well, I thought we lost the man. He lost somebody. We, at least we saved everybody else he was with. You're my prisoner now. What is he recruiting? Can we sneak in here? Can we just, I just want to visit. I don't want to fight. He's recruiting still. He's over there. I see him. Okay. We got a couple of dudes over here. We don't want no problems with all of them now. Now, I would hide in this... I'm going to hide here for a second and see if he comes down. Let's see if we can catch him slipping. Oh, he evaded us. He's moving slow through the forest too, but you know what? He's not going to see us if we stay down here. All right, so they're moving as a unit. They're definitely trying to regroup somewhere. I'm going to attempt to pick an army or two, or I could probably take this whole army. This is about 200 strong, 230 strong, about 230 to my 150. That'd be a good test. I should take out all three of these armies. Let's see if they split. This would be a good test of our strength. You know what? We got the same amount of archers amongst all of our parties. I think we're going for this. Especially if... Yeah, I think we're going for this. We want this fight. Yep, we want this fight. Yep, 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 yep. Stop there. Who are you? All right. It's better we know each other's names, even if we fight. All right. My name is Revelous. I'm going up against three 70-plus man armies. Almost doubled. We just about doubled. This is one for... Oh, man. They just went and got a bunch of rookies, too. Uh Man, surrender or die, Brigid. You heard me. Yield or fight. All right, this is going to be everything's going to depend on tactics. I think we got the high ground. Holy fuck. No, 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 and more no. Holy fuck. We engaged inside the village. Um, this was like this is worst case scenario. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is probably worst case scenario. All right, this is what we're gonna do. If they don't rush us, we're retreating. We're not going to find them. We're just gonna retreat off the battlefield and reset. Now, if they do rush us, I think. Because I'm thinking if we keep our calf here along this road, we'll be able to get through a large portion of this terrain to try to get to their archers if they try to put them back there. Other than that, um, our archers are going to be pretty set. All right, we're going to go with this formation and we're going to set up depending on where they're coming from. All right. All right, they're all coming this way, so. We want our archers right here. Soldier forward! Move! I'm going to go scout and see what they're doing. Oh, hell no. I think we're retreating.
Yeah, I think we're retreating. Troops! Everyone! Move to enemy! Retreat! All right, everybody, retreat. We out. All right, we're gonna not take that battle near the village. That's a bad setup. Very, very, very bad setup. Oh, Lord, they split up in a lot. Well, we want these dudes then, of course. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see something. I just wanna see where they at. Oh, they're not in a village, okay. Oh, we it, this got even better for us. Now we get to fight two armies. All right, all right. It's not quite the three armies, but they split up, so there's nothing much I can do about that. Oh, wow. They gave us the high ground. Oh, this is going to be so amazing. We got the high ground. We got an open lane to charge, and we got a perfect spot to put our infantry. We can run our infantry over here. We can run our archers over here and charge straight up the middle. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Glorious. Troops! Give me double stack arch. Double single line with some protection in the back. Give me double stack line infantry! of infantry. Thank you. Forward! Thank you. Cav up front. Troops! Move! Move! Oh, this is going to be glorious. Um, You know what? We could literally sit here on top of this hill. Spe especially if they're going to rush at us. If they're going to just run at us, I think we're sitting here for a minute. We're going to see what they do. We're going to see what they do. But I think we're just basically sitting here. I don't want to like hold up any of my horsemen, though. I think we're going to sit here. But we'll see what they do. We might have to run down into the woods. Oh, they're all the way over there. So, all right, let's go. Cav, follow me. Soldier attack! You know what? Cav, charge. Cav, charge. We'll set up everything else when we get forward. Troops, move! All right, I set everybody forward. Cav, Troop, charge. charge. Still charge. Still charge. All right, they're fleeing. They're fleeing for real. Cav, go stop them. Go get them, Cav. Damn, they're going into the woods. Damn. Yeah, they're scared to death. They two separate armies and they split up. Alright, Cav, come here. Cav, get the hell out that woods. So forward! Infantry, move! And let our infantry double time over here. Oh, we took out one of their leaders. Oh shit, let's go. Soldier on Cav on me, cav on me. Y'all standing there meleeing. Nah, cav on me. We gotta wait for infantry to get here. Alright, there's the mob, there's the mob. Yeah, they don't know what the hell to do. Cav, stay here. 
and then we're gonna charge out properly. But the infantry is almost in place. We're about to have this. This blitz properly done. Yeah, our infantry is basically right here to destroy. I want to sit in the mountains. Y'all can do that. Troops! We're just going to move right here. Forward! Footman! Forward! Troops! After me! Cab, follow me. I see what they're doing. They're trying to do some weird shit. We're going to go around while this skirmish pops up. We're going around, Cab. That cab ain't fucking with our cab. Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah, our archers are going to work now. Cab. Nope, you're not charging yet, cab. Not yet, cab. Follow me, cab. Alright, cab. Charge now. Oh, that was nasty. Ah, oh, that was nasty. We lost the we lost the horseman. Cav on me. Cav on me. You dudes, get out there. Yeah, y'all not hitting the infantry line. That was stupid. We still got a war of attrition going on. Cav back here. Alright, our infantry. It's good. All right, they're moving forward now. Good. Good, good. Soldier, move. Cav, hurry up and move. Cav charge, Cav charge. <laughs> Messy battle, but we got it. Cleaned them up. We got some injuries, but not a lot. Some deaths. Eighteen renowned, thirty-four influence. Wow. Who do we lose? Who do we lose? Eight deaths. Ah. Uh, we lost legionnaires yeah that last push got us to train infantrymen in one elite oh man we lost some elites man you're my prisoner now you're my prisoner now oh they didn't have no troops with them we can't even replenish our ranks now that was glorious that was a glorious glorious victory to set off our alliance with Britannia. Now we got a lot of wounded here. So we're going to deal with that. Rest up a bit. Got to be careful with our prisoners. 6,000 on just ransoms. Alright, we lost a lot of troops on our front line. So we're going to have to recruit some Britannian soldiers before we start distributing.
We got a lot of experience we got to delve out. Reg Bold getting his weight up. All right, all right, all right. We finally got some new recruits. We finally made it all the way over here to the west. And boy, oh boy, it's things hectic. Look at this. Everything is burning. We got villages burning all over the place. We got castles being seized. We got armies on a run. We got armies on a move. But at least we were able to do our part. As soon as we got here, we was able to capture two powerful armies. We tried to capture three, but we wasn't going to take that village fight. We got another vassal we were able to snipe and capture when he was trying to rebuild. So we were definitely helping the war effort as soon as we arrived. We managed to meet the king finally. And he did say something very suspicious that we're going to have to get into later. And amongst other things, I think we're going to have to play the fields a little bit longer to weaken some of these armies. And then we're going to have to go play in some defense in some of these garrisons to make sure we can remain and keep the territory we actually do have. We are losing territory by the day. Now, if you take a look, we're completely surrounded by war. We possibly pick the worst faction in the game to join up to, especially in the beginning. The worst terrain to fight on, especially if you're trying to use cavalry. So... Short of this faction taking us to war, we're in a lot of trouble. So we're going to have to play a lot of defense and try to do our best to keep things moving. Now, with that being said, this has been real dope. This has been real, real fun and real amazing. I'm very surprised at how fun this game has been to do a series or a playthrough on. I got so much lore and story I want to get into with this character, Revelous. For now, we've accomplished our goals. And it's time to move on to the next phase. Dope stuff. Alright, alright. We're going to end the video here. If you're interested in playing this game, we got some information in the description box below. I appreciate you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy DB4. And I'm out. Peace.